welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about feminine hygiene. So this is actually my second time filming this video. The first time I filmed it, I feel like it was just like all over the place. So I tried to write out my ideas so we can have some kind of structure to the video. Okay, but before we jump into the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so your post notifications on. Give the video a thumbs up. And then when you're done watching the video, head over to my website and shop this set. Cause baby, <laughs> baby, come on. It's giving. I felt like since we were talking about feminine hygiene and just feminine things, like how can you get any more feminine than like a satin robe pajama set? I mean, come you can't you literally cannot if you guys did not know i do have a loungewear store ajayofficial.com it is linked in the description box down below the link to my website as well as well as the link to this exact set i just literally restocked these when i stocked them the first time they sold out you guys love them so i restocked them again in this beautiful yellow color and we have a new color as well head over to the website so you can see the new color too in case you like this set and didn't get it the first time around so yeah, we love this. It's so cute. It's a little dress. I'll pop a pic on the screen of what it looks like. You know, me standing up, so I don't have to do all of that right now. But yeah, love this. Love this set. Be sure to shop it. We have other um, things available on the website too. Obviously, all pajamas, loungewear, all the kind of stuff. So yeah, girl, that's, that's it for the little intro to this video. Let's get to the point, okay, which is feminine hygiene. So it's like, let's talk about it. If you guys have not been following me on TikTok, first of all, what are you doing? Second of all, go follow me. <laughs> um, my TikTok is literally all like body care, beauty, feminine hygiene, feminine stuff, girl things. Literally, that's all it's about. I've done quite a few TikToks on feminine hygiene and like yeast infections, BV, like treatment for those, just like feminine washes that I recommend, all that kind of stuff. So little short clips over there on TikTok here. We're gonna have a full dedicated video to talk about feminine hygiene. If I feel like we need to do a part two, we will. But let's go ahead and get to part one. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is odor. I probably titled this video something like why your coochie stinks and how to fix it or something along those lines. So really, we're going to talk about odor today. So the first thing that I want to talk about is or is the parts of the vagina. I just want to make it very clear that the vagina has multiple parts. And a lot of people will tell you, you don't need to use soap when you're cleaning. You don't you don't need soap down there. The vagina is self cleaning. This is both a true and a false statement, right? It's a true statement as in, yes, the vagina is self-cleaning. However, the labia and the clitoris are not, okay? So it's like, yes, the inside of your vagina, like where you insert tampons, where you have sex, all those types of things, yes. That part is self-cleaning. However, the rest of it is not. It just needs to be cleaned like any other part of your body. So the first thing that I'm gonna recommend for you guys, if you are experiencing any type of odor, is going to be trying to figure out where it could be coming from. Like what is the underlying cause of the odor? Why do you smell, right? So the first thing that we wanna check into is always going to be our health. Do we have a yeast infection? Do we have a bacteri bacterial infection? Do we have an STD? Um, those are gonna be the more serious things that you're going to wanna figure out. Is the odor coming from this first before you start looking at just other regular things that could be going wrong, right? So. You guys, it's very important to go to the doctor. It's very important to have a gynecologist. It's very important to go to your gynecologist every single year. It is an annual thing. If you are on birth control, I'm sure you go every year because you wouldn't be able to get a new prescription without it. But if you're not on birth control, I will tell you guys personally, I am not. Um, I haven't been on birth control, um, has it been two years? Maybe since I've been on it, like I was just like, okay, I'm done taking birth control. And <laughs> I just like stopped, um, but by the way, as a personal thing for myself, I'm also celibate. So I don't have to um, think about like, oh, am I gonna get pregnant or anything like that? Because we don't do that over here. <laughs> so basically, yes, it's super important to go to your gynecologist every year and make sure that you're keeping up to date because you don't know what's going on. And a lot of the times women may get like an STD or something like that. And they don't even know that they have it because a lot of times your STDs don't have any symptoms. You don't have any different color discharge. You don't have any odor. You don't have anything that's physically going on with your body that you would recognize and you wouldn't even know that you have the STD if you do not go to your gynecologist or 
you know, any doctor can do it if you go to a clinic, whatever, and get tested. So that is super duper important. So things that can cause odor, BV, yeast infections. Yeast infections, you're going to notice that discharge. It's going to be a white color, cottage cheese-like discharge. You may or may not have an odor. Bacterial vaginosis, you will definitely have an odor. It will smell like fish. It will be a fishy odor, and you will have a dis discharge with that as well. If you notice that di normal discharge is clear, you're going to have clear if you're ovulating. So right about like two weeks or so after your period, you're going to be ovulating. You may notice some clear jelly like discharge. Totally normal. You have some a small amount of white creamy discharge. You might have that every day. You might have that every now and then, depending on you as a woman and how your cycle goes. Um, but something like that is totally normal. Having discharge that is discolored, meaning it's turning yellow, it's turning green, that is a sign of an STD, go to your doctor immediately, okay? You have any type of odor that you feel like is like a fishy type of odor, you wanna go to your doctor and get that, get treatment for that. So treatment for yeast, in, well, let me, I didn't even tell you guys, first of all, I'm talking about this stuff, but like, let me just throw in that um, I am a pharmacist. Well, I'm a, I have a doctorate of pharmacy. You guys know if you already subscribe to my channel that I'm basically a full-time content creator. I pop into the pharmacy every now and then, kind of like as they need me, if they need someone to cover a shift, but I do have a doctorate in pharmacy. So the stuff information that I'm giving you is like, you know, I've learned this in school. I give this information to patients, you know, all the time. So just throwing that in there for a little razzle dazzle, okay? But um, treatment for your yeast infection is going to be either one, you could do like monostat over the counter. There's a one day, a three day, and a seven day. If you do the one day, which I would not recommend, it's gonna burn a lot, a lot. And a lot of times the one day is not as effective. Your more effective options are gonna be your three day and your seven day. It's gonna burn less. If you use it over, you know, the three days or the seven days, you're more likely to get rid of the yeast infection altogether. That's what's available over the counter in the United States. If you don't have that, you would have to get a prescription for it, which would be fluconazole. I personally will probably just go to the doctor and just get the treatment or at least call the doctor, let them know what's going on and have them just go ahead and prescribe the fluconazole, um, prescribe that prescription medication and just go ahead and get that and be done with it. You know, if you don't have insurance, if you, you know, for whatever reason are not able to do that, your next best option is going to be the monostat. Now for bacterial vaginosis here in the United States, we do not do antibiotics over the counter at all whatsoever. So you will have to get a prescription to get treatment for bacterial vaginosis. There's really no other option. And of course, with STDs, you're definitely gonna need a prescription for that as well. There's nothing you can do over the counter for that. If you do experience any type of itching, you can get um, Monistat. I believe Monistat has a cream as well. Off the top of my head, I'm like, I feel like I can picture that in like the sensitive form, like a hydrocortisone cream. I feel like sometimes it might come in the box along with it. Um, depending on where you get it from, but you can use something that's like a sensitive cream to rub on the outer area to help you with that itching. But um, this part is really supposed to be all about odor. So like if you're experiencing any type of odor, once you've crossed out all those things and you're like, okay, it's none of this, where else is the odor coming from? So for one, your pH balance might be off. If you are sexually active, if you are having sex with multiple partners or if your partner is having sex with multiple partners, even if you are not, that still counts okay so you got to look into that as well how you are washing if you're using just water i'm letting you know right now baby water is not enough like i said the vagina itself is self-cleaning but the outer portion of it is not you need soap and water okay the only two things that i personally use are one dove soap the sensitive version not the regular white bar but the one that's white i'll put a picture on the screen y'all know the sensitive dub soap in like the white and teal packaging i'll use that or i will use a yoni wash by mm, i can't think of the name of the company but i absolutely love 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 their yoni wash it, i actually did a um i worked with them on tiktok so they you know sent the product over me i got paid all that kind of stuff but i used the whole bottle of the wash like the wash is bomb a1 like i would definitely definitely order it like for myself. So highly recommend that. I built Salt XO. That's the name of it, Salt XO. But I'll still put a little pic of the wash on the screen. It is an all natural wash. We want to make sure that we're avoiding fragrances, harsh chemicals. We don't need anything with scent. If you guys are, st please don't tell me you're doing this. Please don't tell me you're still going under Target, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, and ordering things from Amazon that are Summer's Eve. Stop it. 
stop, stop doing it. Like use it. You're, ba you're buying air freshener. Like people are buying air fresheners for their coochies and they're, they're spraying it like we're spraying a house. Like what? Spraying it like island, pineapple, eucalyptus. Like what is this? What is this? Like no ma'am. Like picking up things like floral sprays to spray. On on that area they're using washes that smell like peaches and mangoes and I'm like girl we don't want it we don't need it like leave it where it's at like those types of washes those fragrances all that kind of stuff just like it those types of things irritate people's skin just like regular body washes you can only imagine like what the summer's eve is doing baby and I'm just saying summer's eve off the top of my head because I know that one is super well known but there are other brands of washes as well that have all these different types of scents fragrances chemicals all the kind of stuff we don't need it we don't need it we don't need it we don't need any of that none of it okay at all leave that where it is okay get you some regular sensitive dove bar soap or get you a yoni wash that's all natural even if it's not the one i recommend i'm sure there are others available you know that you can order or whatever like just make sure that you're very careful with it and make sure that you're not using any type of scented products. If you guys use any type of um, scented body washes and stuff like that, y'all know I'm real big into body care. I love body care. I love scented stuff, lotions, moisturizers, you know, body washes, oils, all that kind of stuff. But I don't use any of that stuff on my coochie, okay? If I am using um, some type of scented body wash, I'm going to get all of my body and I'm going to skip. I'm going, I'm going to skip this part. None of this. Okay? Also, food and water is super important. Like your water intake needs to be high, okay? Drinking one little bottle of water every day, let's say one or two, honestly, because that's nothing. You drink one or two little bottles of water a day and everything else you're drinking is coffee or wine or, you know, any type of alcohol or just juices. Just, oh, girl, get some water, bro. Get some water. I promise you, like, the more water you drink, the better you will smell. I know this has been a few years, but like, I know y'all know the song Dice Pineapples, okay? Like, Dice Pineapples, you know? I, I know you know it. And like, it's a true statement. Like, the more fruits, veggies, the healthier your diet is, the more clean your diet is, the better you are going to smell just as a person, just in general, okay? Like, you would just smell better. So it's just like, that's super important. Make sure you're eating fruits. Make sure you're eating veggies. Make sure you have a good clean diet. If all you're eating is McDonald's and Burger King and you're always eating out and you're picking up fast food and you're eating cakes and just all kinds of stuff. Y'all know what a clean diet is versus not a clean diet. It's like if that's all you're eating, you're going to smell like that. You know, like that literally it's like not even it's not even good. OK, so underwear so i was holding up this if i use that thumbnail i was holding up this in the picture so this is completely clean you don't gotta you know worry about that but this is a little um this is a thong from victoria's secret we have the lace at the top and then this part is cotton so it's really really important to wear cotton underwear honestly i feel like um thongs can get a bit of a bad rep but it's really not like the thong versus like not a thong it's really the material like the cotton is what you need you're buying all this seamless underwear i don't even know what the material of seamless underwear is but if you own some or like you felt it before i know you know what i'm talking about it's a strange material but it's really not breathable and that can cause odor as well you're wearing that all day every day like mm -mm. No, no 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 we need cotton underwear i know we're done kind of talking about like um causes of it like stds and all the kind of stuff but i also want to mention this because i feel like this is not mentioned a lot but when you get a yeast infection and you're trying to figure out maybe how you got it there are multiple ways to get a yeast infection but one way that i feel like people don't really discuss is oral sex if you're having sex with someone who does not have good dental hygiene like you know maybe they brush their teeth because like it's just a normal thing to do but they don't like really brush their teeth they don't really brush their tongue like they're not scraping their tongue using a tongue scraper like really make sure that it really make sure really making sure that it's clean that's a problem so y'all know you have yeast in your mouth and so if you're participating in oral sex and your mouth is not really clean and you have all that yeast in there you're not using that tongue scraper i highly highly recommend you get a tongue scraper okay and you're not doing that you can get a yeast infection 
from that from the other person can give you one based on you know what's going on in their mouth so make sure make sure of that okay so I feel like those are pretty much all the things that I wanted to cover in this video as kind of related to odor and like where odor can be coming from. So I highly recommend just to kind of like wrap up the video that if you do experience any type of odor, you look into your health first. You go to your doctor, you go to a gynecologist, you go to the clinic, get tested, see if you have a yeast infection, see if you have bacterial vaginosis, see if you have an STD. And once you've ruled out those things and you know it's not any of that, then start looking at things like, okay, is it, you know, the fact that I'm not wearing cotton underwear? Is it the fact that I don't drink enough water? Do I not eat enough fruits and veggies? Um, is my pH balance off? Using soaps or like things with fragrance that are, you know, harmful, that are throwing off my pH balance. Maybe I need to switch soaps or something like that. So yeah, I feel like those are pretty much all the points that I wanted to cover. I would love to do a part two of this video. I would love to make this like a series and talk about all these types of things because I love like girl chats and like talking about stuff like this. And I feel like since I do have, you know, a doctor of pharmacy, I can give, you know, a little bit of little bit of something I could you know give a little bit of tea on these on these topics and we can expand on this stuff a little bit more so yes that's gonna be it for today's video let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section down below and I will definitely get back to you guys or maybe we'll even be filming a part two of this video and talking about some other things but yeah overall that is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to your post notifications on. Give the video a thumbs up, girl. Go ahead and shop this cute little satin PJ set online. Pick up some other stuff while you're over there too. Like I said, I will link my store in the description box down below. I'll put it across the screen for you guys as well. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.